to the left. There's a predation under the seagull. Go, 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 go. We got a predation up off the front of the bow here. Shark's hunting a seal. Go grab that little camera. You can see the fin of the shark there at the surface. He's beating on the seal. You can see the seal at the surface. It's still right there. He looks like he's cut in half. He's definitely not made it. He's under the seagulls. The shark's going to come back to finish him off. The sharks target lone seals. And he's taking advantage of that instinct to film their assault. He rigs a decoy to hold a miniature camera, which he can tow behind the boat. Just a really tiny little small HD camera. It goes into a foam housing so the shark can bite it safely. <laughs> deploying the bite cam. We're going to tow it at about four knots, because that's roughly the speed at which the seals travel. Charles, I'm going to run it out about, I don't know, 40 meters. What do you say, Charles? That's good? Or... I'd say that's good, Andy. OK. Good luck. Let's see what happens. This guy's alone, and he's young, so he might get lucky. a seagull patrolling over our decoy. See how it's hovering? The seagulls, again, will often anticipate predation events and see it way before we do. The decoy runs the gauntlet, but nothing takes the bait at first. Breach! We just had a little shark breach in the bike cam. Andy's bike cam records the hit and an inside view of the shark's throat and gills. Until the shark spits it out. Check it out how these seagulls are reacting to that breach. They also think this is a real seal. They're waiting to pick up the pieces. But obviously, it's rubber, so they're not going to get anything. But that's your lucky spot, aren't you? That's my lucky spot, absolutely. Wow. The bite cam reveals the shark's tactic a vertical strike from directly below. It was a medium-sized shark, a subadult, but it rushed up from the bottom, vertical, and it's coming up, it's coming back, it's coming back again, it's coming back again, it's approaching the bike cam. This time, the decoy pays a price. It's our bite cam. It's missing its head. It's been decapitated. Took a hold of the head. One bite, tore it off. You can see the distinctive teeth marks here. Top jaw's like a steak knife. Bottom's like daggers to pin the prey. This thing basically had uh, no chance. And it looks like we're still recording, so that's cool. Could be a pretty cool shot. Andy's camera has captured the shark's final rush at its prey but he hasn't filmed those famous razor teeth in action. For that, he'll have to ditch the decoy and face the great white's monster bite. Oh, 